Hey there everyone, this is Outcalbling Banjo Tui, and as you could saw there in the stats, we're almost done with this level, but I don't the page I know where it is. The other two, the remaining like how to activate the last jiggy and the last remaining hexagon, I do not know what's about those, so we'll see how long it takes me to figure things out. Uh but yeah, um Man, I don't know, man. This place has been real rough on me in a way that even Pterodactylan wasn't. I just feel like I am struggling so much in a way that just wasn't true in the early game. Like, although things could get a bit silly and a bit drawn out in the early game, it's just a way, there's a way in which everything was executed here. That is just scrambling my soul. That is just like really putting the sandpaper to it. In a way that I feel like I wasn't ready for. But here we are. Look at that sweet little scene of a train we got to see there, you know. Still image of a train. My favorite pop art novel. Alright, well we're looking for things. <laughs> I just rolled right into that rock. I feel like I have a good bead on the ice side, honestly. Something I feel like I can't really say about the lava side, so... I guess assuming that things are hidden on the lava side isn't like ridiculous under that light. Let's look around the mountain a little bit more. That seems smart. So this is how this is built. Okay. Oh, well there's the hexagon. <laughs> There's another grip wall I missed! How many grip walls have I missed in this game? Well, there's that, I guess. Alright, well that was okay. Alright, that's embarrassing. Alright, um... Yeah, there's the ice cave. It's the icicle grotto. But also, there is, like, I wanna, uh, oh, well, you know what, you know what, yeah. Okay, I see. Cause yeah, see, there's a Jiggy there. Right there. There's a cage in front of it. There's no NPCs that I've talked to that offered to open it. I don't know if there are any NPCs left in this level. And I feel like I can't just assume that, oh, it's gonna be around. Cause like a button can affect, like a button or an NPC can kind of affect anything anywhere. And there's no logic where pathways lead you in this game, which is, I think, is a big reason why I keep feeling, like, super lost. So there's, yeah, see, cause here, okay. This is how you would normally get to the train switch. Can you go up here? No. Well, you didn't grab. That's gonna happen. Wait. I wanna go up, but you won't climb her up. There's a Kasui switch. What? Does the door open for Kazooie? Can you blow up the door, maybe? Well, I don't... I c There's no way for me to tell where I'm gonna land. It's pretty good. <laughs> Alright, well... Whoa, there's a banjo switch over there, maybe? So this is where... Yeah, where that is. Uh... 
This is a banjo only gate. Well, button. Okay, so I need to get here as banjo. There is a grippable ledge here. Like, I feel like I'm gonna have to do this in reverse to be able to find my way around. And there is another banjo only. Banjo switch there, so maybe you press a banjo switch, press a banjo, or you press the Kazooie switch to go into the next banjo zone. All right, where is this though? Where's this door? Because this is where I'm gonna have to go as banjo. In the Colosseum. Okay, no, yeah, there's a grip here. Oh, you can interact with the chain. I hadn't thought of that. Okay, so this explains the split path here then, if I can ever find it. Nah, really? This is what I mean, like, what, what does being sniped from off-screen add to the game? Nothing. It just makes me annoyed. No, it's the other entrance I mean. It's all... I don't know, man. I find it impossible to navigate anywhere in this place. It is wild. And how much I don't like this feeling of being lost all the time, gonna be real? Alright, so if I want to sleep, it's... This? No. It's this? No. It's this? No. It's this. Okay. Alright, so... Is that the vine? Is there just a, the one vine? The uh, chain? Whatever? Come on, you can, you can climb it. Took you a little bit to think about it, but you know what? That's fine. No, there are multiple chains. Great, 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 great. I'm very happy. I mean, I need to get up there somehow. Yeah, there's no grip in here. You will not let- Oh, the grip is here. I could barely see it. Okay, that's my fault. I can't see grip wall. I don't know why. It is just absolutely- Because it was the right chain after all. But like I said, like I just could not see that- that, like, at all. But it's fine. I'm here now, which lets me... Yeah, so it opens that. Uh... I guess the simplest thing to do would be to fly there from the other side of the screen. So I guess I'll do that. Can I eyeball which is the correct place I want to go? Not really. Okay, it's gonna be over here. This guy. I'm just gonna fly awkwardly against the wall. That's how we do things. So now you're more opened up. Which is not that important. But we got some gripping to do. So we're gonna do that. It's like a little awkward to get to, but it's actually very generous in like latching on to the grip wall. You just have to f see them. You just have to find them. That is my greatest obstacle in the universe. All right, what does that button do other than open up the grid more? Oh, and way under here. Look at that. We got ourselves a jigster. So, this is what makes them... Are you, are you, like, underneath me? 
yes. Alright, I didn't want to take any chances. Um, there we go. There we go. I'm gonna keep the glide going. We've combined ourselves. Okay. For a hot second, I was wondering, oh no, is that gonna rule, like, is that, is, do you need to keep the switch held on? You do not have to keep the switch held on. Okay, see, this is a navigation puzzle that makes sense. That was a very, very good jiggy. Um, I like this one a lot, actually. I like how, in you know, it tests your knowledge of the place. In a way that makes sense. They can do good. It's just that for a lot, they don't. Like, I don't know how else to describe it. But yeah, on the back side of this, we I remember we saw a uh, page underneath the window. But, you know, we didn't get it. I'm pretty sure I remember what is the solution to the non-puzzle. It's get destroyed by this icicle thing 500 times. That's not it, actually. This may come as a shot. Nah, it's... Like, you would expect it. It's, uh, there's a... Little entryway we have to find. I just need to find it. I just need to remember where it is. It's not you. You're a ninja. Cause I got... There's another... Spring! Born! Here! Oh, no, you look like a fool, Benjo. Yeah, see, it's right there. Pretty sure there is an entrance to there, somewhere. You just have to find it. Can you attack though? Sometimes, Banjo. <sighs> See, look how how not long enemies stay dead. That's what I mean when I say that. You just do not have time to look around and try and figure things out. Like, you- you- I've barely killed them, and they're already all back. Like, that's- that's just silly. Alright, maybe the opening is... ...not in this cave, then. Okay, which means it could be anywhere, which is, uh... ...not great... ...to think about. Or, the level is also, like, a lot bigger than I thought. Give me health. Oh yeah, this place is gigantic. What? Kinda looks like an entrance. I'm not sure, but and also there's enemies all around me, so like, I can't... And the camera is like, very good, as a bonus. Like, I... What are you trying to show me, camera? Oh, and there's a tiny hole. Well, you know what? I got a tiny guy. Okay. I'm guessing maybe they would want you to send in, like, glove compartment banjo, but I mean, if I have access to little guy, I'm going to use little guy. Yeah, this place is, like, a lot bigger than I remember, but I think that's it. With that, I got everything. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know what? You know what? I'm gonna give you what you want. There you go. Death warping back to the entrance. It just makes more sense. God damn it, that's right. I, you know what? No. Next place I wanna go is the lagoon. Well, I can go outside. Go to the lagoon that way. Before I do that, let's just triple check. Everything is maxed out. Hell Fire Peaks does not need to be re entered anymore. See, 
the thing is, like, I was starting to feel uncomfortable in Pterodactylion because it just kind of triggered this, like, fight or flight, I am panicking because I'm just lost reflex. Uh, Jolly Roger Lagoon and its underwater maze is not going to be much different. I'm not sure how much there is to do, except there is actually, I feel like, kind of a lot to do, but you know what? Let's worry about that tomorrow.